the Black Ops pass kind of fell out of Activision's ass, and kind of what I'm saying is, it needs to climb back up. So lads, this right here is what the season pass for Black Ops Pass should have been, and hopefully will still be something kind of like this, if we're in a dream scenario. But, but lads, this is Activision, this is real life, let's be honest, nothing's gonna change. There's still part of me that thinks that hopefully changes are being made to the Black Ops Pass, and that's why they're so quiet. But you, we, we don't know what's going on behind the scenes, but I just hope, I damn hope, that they're thinking about making this, like, good, you know? <laughs> like, It'd be good if they made it good. So guys, make sure to subscribe if you breathe oxygen on the daily. Now, yes, we're talking about both multiplayer and zombies, because the Black Ops Pass or Season Pass affects both of these modes. But like I said in a previous video, it's so strange. The Black Ops Pass screws over multiplayer, but not zombies. It kind of... That's why this whole thing just doesn't work. But lads, it's time to build hype, you know? The hype's been on the down low for this game, but let's build up. So my, my favourite way to build up hype is to watch YouTube videos and... This one, this one looks promising. Help. But anyway lads, so let's quick go over what the season, uh, sorry, the Black Ops Pass truly is, AIDS. But what it is, is basically the season pass, but, damn it, it's been a long time since I've looked at what the Black Ops Pass is, but I'm pretty sure it's just like the season pass, but a different name, and you cannot get the map packs or the DLC content uh, outside of the pass. You need to have the pass to get it, unlike the season pass where you can just buy the map pack separately. According to Fleets, you just you can't get the content if you don't have the pass. And of course, the pass costs money, right? Uh, and that's where the problems come in, like, I'm happy to pay money for a zombies map because it's totally different, you know, it's, it's worth the money. But multiplayer, uh, you know, gaming's evolved, it's not 2010 or 9 anymore, you know, map packs and paying, like, you know, it's not the days of paying $15 to, to play four multiplayer maps, which not everyone in the community is going to buy, so it's hard to find lobbies with those maps. And also, let's be real here, some DLC maps are absolutely tragic and are not worth crap. However, lads, I don't know about you, but I'd rather spend money on, a, on map packs on a season pass then spending like 50 quid you know as much as a, a full game on a dance a pickaxe skin and a and looking like a pink teddy bear in in Chuck E. Cheese ball pit you know what I'm saying Dr. Disrespect Fortnite like I, I, I think the money's yeah but the deal still isn't sweet and it's still not perfect now here's a thing in BO3 3 sorry English you know what I'm saying they have done a thing where you can buy the zombies maps separately without buying a map pack or this map. Now you can, I'm not sure how much the price is, but you can buy De Eisendrak, you can buy Zetsubo, like on its own. That needs to be a thing in Black Ops 4 instantly, right? Instantly like that. So I just think there should not be a season pass or a Black Ops pass for multiplayer maps. That whole entire system should be changed. But zombies, uh, as, a, as a hardcore zombies lad, I think a zombies pass would honestly be awesome because once again, for zombies community, zombies maps, we're happy to spend the money on that. You know what I'm saying, my man? I'm not shelling out coins to play some tragic ass multiplayer map. I don't, I just don't want to play, man. But realistically, should multiplayer maps, every single multiplayer map, DLC maps, whether it's a new map or a remake or a remaster, should it be free? Well, yes, I, I think us as players should say, yes, it's free, but realistically, lads, that's kind of not going to happen, but, like, it'd be better if they maybe dropped the price. So they separate multiplayer DLC maps and zombies maps. So map packs aren't a thing anymore, where they all drop at the same time. If you can buy each thing separately, buy the zombies map separately, buy each singular multiplayer map separately, but for a dropped price. So they're still, Activision are still making their dough, you know what I'm saying? But it's, so they're still making their money, but it's better for us and then once again if the, if the prices are dropped for multiplayer maps then maybe just maybe more people actually buy it so there's actually more people playing it so it's actually more worth it see it's it's just clever stuff that activision just <laughs> it, it's above their level ads it's <laughs> But they also did say that Black Ops 4 is going to be the COD game with the most free content ah, free content just sounds juicy and they've also confirmed that Nuketown uh, episode 4 is going to be coming to Black Ops 4 for free 
one month after the game comes out. So it'd be nice if they drop free multiplayer maps here and there, you know? Kind of like they did in World War Two. Now this isn't confirmed, but I think it's it's something that might happen with this Black Ops Pass. You know, this different approach to DLC that Treyarch have confirmed that map packs might not be a thing where they drop, you know, like Modern Warfare 3 if you play it. We've talked about this system before where there's new multiplayer maps every month. Like, wouldn't that be amazing? This is my ideal stuff. If every single month we get two multiplayer maps so you get a remake at the start of month at the end of a month you get a completely new map and hopefully one of those would be free each month so you get a paid map and a free map every single month so then throughout the 12 months that'd be 24 maps that's not happening lads maybe that's not, maybe one map every month or just something like that instead of dropping four maps every two months you know spreading it out that'd be a, a, a lot nicer and then for zombies maps this is my genius idea once again there's a sliver, there's a, a tiny hope that this might actually happen since World War II did a DLC, you know, like a few days ago, no one cared about it, let's be honest, lads, where there's survival maps and this whole challenge map for zombies. But wouldn't it be amazing if every single... every two months, they drop this new zombies map, which once again we pay for because we're happy to pay for that content. And then, in between the new maps, they drop a free, or maybe if you buy the map pack, you get this month after, a survival map. So, let's just say, you know, they drop the Eisendrak episode 2, and then a month later, in between the DLCs, they drop Rocket Pad Survival, right? Just a corner of this new Zombies map as its own mini survival map, just like Transit had its little sections. That'd be outstanding, then we'd pretty much be getting a new Zombies map every single month. Like, that's just a genius idea. Like, why are, why are Activision not doing this? Why are they just being dumb and stuck in the past? You know, I, I don't see a flaw with this idea I've laid in front of my brethren, you guys, and Activision, because we know Activision trucks, in, Infinity Ward, Stage Hammer, all of those lads sit down before they sleep and watch my videos. So hopefully they're, they're listening, because this plan just seems good for us and Activision, right? It works for everyone. So, lads, I think that's all I have to say in this matter. World Cup final is it's seven minutes in, and I'm just sitting here recording. Stay spicy, my friends, and I'll see you in a minute. I'm out of breath.